What's up, good and amazing people? Welcome back to this segment. And this is your girl, Didi. And as you all know, this is a product of Penjo Studios. And today we're going to be talking about quarantine, quarantine, lockdown, and all of that. As you all know, the world is completely shut down right now. People have lost their jobs. Other people have lost their lives. And my sincere condolences go out to those families that have lost a loved one. I deeply sympathize with you all and I pray that may the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. We're going to be talking about how you're positively using this time, you're positively impacting your community during this period of lockdown. And I just want to say this, uh, this is not going to be a long segment anyway, so I'm going to be very brief and straight to the point with y'all. A lot of people, a lot of us youths, this goes especially to the youths, a lot of us need to stay at home. Stay at home booze and base stay at home it's a lockdown period it's the coronavirus is out here and it's real a lot of people don't believe this is real but i believe this is real because i've seen people die this is real please stay at home be careful take care of yourselves wash your hands moving on on talking on how you're using this time positively ask yourself what am i doing this is a period where the world is shut down for instance, God forbid, if you die tomorrow, how do you explain to God how you lived your life? Was I prayerful? Was I a nice person? Did I put smiles on people's faces? Or was I just living the life? I see a lot of us young people go on social media. We're twerking, we're trolling, we're insulting, we're, we're doing just the most. Honey, this, this is not the time. This is not the time. This is just, this too shall pass. This is just a period where everything is shut down. Everything is gonna come back to normal and everything shall pass away. My question is, when you go out naked, when you go out butt naked, like you're twerking on these celebrities' videos, these people have lived their life. These people have made it in life. And you go out taking off your clothes and showing them what you got. Booze, no, mm -mm. We were not raised like that. We were raised to be responsible citizens. We were raised to be responsible people. We were raised in a cultural way, in a nice culture. Do not go out there, good people, and expose your bodies. What happens to, well, What happens tomorrow if something, you have an opportunity that comes your way and the internet does not forget. That's the, that's the most, that's what you're all supposed to know. The internet does not forget. Someone is gonna pull up that video someday. Your kid, what happens if you have kids tomorrow and they're gonna be like, they're gonna see their mom or their daddy out there, butt naked, twerking, or doing some crazy shit online? No, the internet has the good, the bad, the ugly. Let's focus on the good. Let's focus on building ourselves. Let's focus on enriching ourselves during this period. If you're trying to go out there, go out there on a positive note. Go out there. You can, you can sell t-shirts online. You can sell food online. You can sell everything online. Just find what triggers your fantasy. Just go for it and do it. Don't go out there and use using your life because you, you have free internet, you think you can do anything, you have free internet, you can control, you can you can actually talk bad about people, you can be a, a social media or a media bully. No. Use this time positively. Use this time productively to better yourself. Go online, take online courses. You can learn how to drive, you can learn a new skill, you can learn how to bake, you can learn how to pray. Because boo, I am not going to hell. Actually, during this period of time, I have been so prayerful. I don't know whether, whether you all believe in prayer. Just do what you believe in. I believe in prayer. I believe there is God. And I believe I'm not here by my own power. I'm here by his special grace. So I have been praying. I have actually given my life to Christ again. I cried, well, Christ had my life before, but I still gave my life back to Christ because I don't want to be left out. Just cultivate something. Do something for the community. Give a helping hand. Help out someone that's going to work during this period, like the like the like the first respondents. You can help them out. You can babysit for them. You can offer someone a bottle of water. It's hard out here, people. Let's use this time productively. Let's use this time to build ourselves. You can learn a skill. Go learn how to drive. Don't go out there twerking, being naked, doing just the most. No, I, this is not where I used to be before. I would never know that I would be in this position today. But what if I useless my life? What if I had done a lot of awful things in my life? And then me coming out today, it's gonna be like, oh, okay, look at her. No, 
Let's be safe. Let's stay safe. Wash your hands. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for staying with us. We are coming hard and we're bringing some really, really good stuff. You don't want to forget to click like and share with your family members. Thank you.